Painter has so many brushes that you are certain to find just the right one, and with additional adjustments you can continue to fine-tune them, save them, and use them uh, for all your professional projects. I'd like to share with you some of my favorite brushes in Painter and some of the reasons why I really enjoy using them. To begin with, let's take a look at the digital watercolor category of brushes. I'm going to open up the flyout and um, I'm going to scan through and starting at the top and working down I'm going to come to the digital watercolor uh, brush category and within that category you're going to see what we call in painter variants and there are quite a few of them here to choose from and each one represents the um, traditional media watercolor uh, in a really exciting way. Uh, one of the things that I enjoy most about this particular brush is that it has what we call a diffusion and a wet fringe setting and within these settings you can actually get this brush to behave in a very traditional uh, fashion. The other thing that's nice about it is the brush will uh, paint on either the canvas layer or uh, additional layers as you go forward. So let's take a look at some of the attributes. I've chosen the brush called the new Simple Water and you'll notice that it has a grain setting which means that it basically will react to the paper texture that you uh, select. So the more paper tech or the lower the grain setting the more texture we're going to see and as we increase this uh, grain setting the paper texture becomes a little more refined and, and not quite as visible in the uh, actual brush stroke. Um, I've gone ahead and laid in a few brush strokes and you can see that um, in the default state, the brush has uh, a very transparent look to it. Uh, it has a very soft edge with just a little bit of wet fringe uh, applied. However, let's say I want to continue with this painting and paint in a sky that has uh, you know, clouds in it and has that very, very soft look. So one of the things I would do here would be to increase the diffusion setting and I'm going to take it all the way up to 20. And using my Alt key, I'm just going to sample uh, a blue value here. And you can see as I go over those brush strokes how the uh, paint just softly diffuses on the edges. And this is, you know, uh, really one of the um, um, traditional um, aspects, uh, so to speak, of watercolor that you look for. You know, uh, it's called the wet on wet or wet into wet method and what it does is it just, uh, you know, will take the paint and kind of uh, spread it out and create a very, very um, soft appearance. So as I go further into this, you can just see how those edges uh, just just are just beautiful and just soften up as I go through and this means I can even go over um, brush strokes I've already laid in and have a little fun by just uh, working on diffusing some of those edges. Um, if I wanted to uh, increase color in certain areas I could certainly do that and uh, for example, if I wanted to show maybe the look of fog coming over this mountain, I could sample the lighter value here and just kind of float it over the top of this hillside and just softly go over those edges to lose those edges and uh, create that really soft look and maybe that look of uh, fog coming in. So this is uh, one of my favorite brushes and again within the digital watercolor you'll see uh, quite a few uh, including a, an eraser which is nice uh, if you want to use that to actually lift and for example if I wanted to lift out the look of some wave uh, some waves breaking on the shore here I could do that or some white caps in the distance maybe some sheep on the in the meadow here and <laughs> just pull in those uh, colors like that. 